Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in an LG refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a half inch open ended wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve. The water inlet valve is located at the back of the refrigerator, inside the machine compartment, mounted on the side of the cabinet. There are several symptoms of a failed valve. No water in the ice maker or at the fountain. Dripping water from the dispenser. Overflowing of the ice maker or a water leak from the valve housing. If you run into any of these problems, check and replace the water inlet valve. To replace the water inlet valve, we need to disconnect the water line which connects here on the bottom of the fridge in the coupling. So we need to open both doors and we need to lift up a little bit on the fridge so we can pull out the water line and disconnect it. So let's open the both doors. Then I'm going to use a wooden block and we're going to lift up the fridge. And I'm going to push it up slightly. Slide it on. All right, so we're here uh, underneath of the fridge and it's on the left side where the freezer door is. So this is that uh, water line that we need to disconnect. I'm going to open this holder and pull out the line. Next, I'm going to place this uh, towel underneath so we don't need any water on the floor. So I'm going to use this uh, half inch open end wrench to press on the locking collar so we can remove the water tube from the coupling. And I'm going to push and pull the line at the same time. And we're going to have some water coming down for sure. Okay, and now we're going to go to the back of the fridge. But first, I would like to take out that block and close both doors. So we're going to go to the back and we're going to pull out the water line. I'm going to push up the fridge and I'm going to take out the block. Slowly put it down. And I'm going to take the towel away. So there we are at the back of the fridge. Uh, there's the bottom, uh, this uh, corner. We're going to place the towel underneath. We're going to disconnect the water line. And we might have some water coming up. To disconnect the hose, I'm going to use this uh, half inch open ended wrench. And we're going to turn this nut at the end of the hose. All right, take it out. And uh, now we're going to remove this uh, rear cover panel. To remove the panel, we need to take out four Phillips screws. To do that, I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver. And now I'm going to lift and remove this uh, access panel. We're going to take out a couple of screws here that holds the water lines. Those are Phillips screws. Now we're going to remove the bracket and uh, this one. And now when they are loose, we're going to take out this screw that holds the water valve. It's also Phillips. And I'm using the same Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Again, I'm going to pull out the water valve and, and drop it down. And now we need to unplug this white plug over here. There's a tab, locking tab on the side. 
I'm going to press it and pull the plug down. All right, so let's pull this uh, water valve out. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over and uh, we're going to make a picture of, uh, of the lines goes to the valve. So, because we're going to disconnect them all and we need to know where it goes when we're going to connect them to the new valve. All right, so we're going to remove these uh, locking clips first and just push it off. Now we don't need to take the fourth one out. And uh, now we're going to use this half inch open end wrench and I'm going to press on the locking collar and I'm going to pull out these uh, water lines. This is the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. So we're going to start the installation of this uh, water valve by uh, placing that blue tube into that white guide tube. So we're going to end up on the other side of the fridge if you do it correctly. We're going to fit it in. All right, so at this point, we're going to start inserting these tubes into the valve. And we are going to refer to our picture that we took earlier. All right, so we're going to go one by one. And that, that one goes at the back. Insert it, push it in. Then we have... Uh, this uh, thinner line it was right in there and again push it in and that's the last one all right so I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to insert it into the opening all right so we're going to Insert the plug in until it locks, and then we're going to lift up on the valve. All right, so we're going to install the valve onto the cabinet. We're going to place this into the cutout here, push it in, match the holes, and we're going to use the machine screw out of the uh, other screws. It's only one machine screw. It has a different thread. And I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver. We're going to tighten it. All right, so next I'm going to attach this uh, water line, uh, this fastener, to this hole here on the back of the cabinet. We're using one of the uh, Phillips screws. I'm going to put it through. And I'm going to Put it next to the hole, we're going to align it. And using a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to tighten it. And it's going to be good and tight. Next, I'm going to attach these two hoses to the cabinet. Uh, we have this retainer. And if you look at it on the side, this one opening is a little smaller than this one. So that will go over the smaller tube. I'm going to place it on. And I'm going to align the holes. And again, there's a Phillips screwdriver and a Phillips screw. I'm going to secure it. All right, so I'm going to install this uh, rear access panel. We're going to place these uh, slots over these two posts here. And we're going to interlock them. And then we're going to secure them. Now we're going to use the screws. We have uh, four Phillips screws. Now we're going to secure the panel. All well, let's remove this uh, safety cap of the valve.
And now we need to connect the, uh, uh, the fridge to the water supply. I'm going to install the line and uh, I'm going to do a few threads manually. Well, more than a few. Till it will be tight. And then I'm going to use this uh, half inch open and wrench. I'm going to tighten it. All right. And now we're going to remove the towel. We don't need it anymore. And now we need to go to the front of the fridge and connect the blue water line. So here we are at the front of the fridge. I'm going to place that block again underneath. Lift it up slowly. Slide it under. All right, now we're going to connect that blue line. So we're going to connect those two lines. Uh, we need to take off this uh, cap first. Slide it off. And I'm going to put it into the coupling. Push it in all the way. So we're going to place that tube behind the leg and uh, place it inside the holder. And now we can take out this uh, wooden block. We're going to lift it up on the fridge slowly. Be careful. Don't kill yourself. Pull out the block and lower down. And now we can close the doors and feel great about finishing this big job. Plug the fridge in, open the water and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.